Okay, so today we are making Rice Krispie Treats for Valentine's Day. So first things first, we put three tablespoons of butter into our large round mold. Then you melt it in the microwave. And then after that, you put your marshmallows in. Get, you want approximately about 70 marshmallows. So if you have 12 ounce bags, then you want to put, yeah, 12 ounce, okay, 12 ounce bags. Then you want to put at least a bag and a half in. Because if you do the math, then it's about a bag and a half. So uh, I'm just gonna put like a bag and a half about in. And then, really, it just fills the mold too, right? That's what yeah. we do. And after you put the bag and a half in, so about. That looks good. That much. Then. Take the blender spatula, and what are we gonna do? Yeah. Then you take the blender spatula, you put it in, and you mix them around as best you can. Just kind of get the butter all over the marshmallows, right? Yeah, so then they don't like cook instead of. And, and then what are we gonna do? Put them in the microwave for. Do you know? Two okay. minutes. Oh, two minutes. Okay, know. perfect. Okay. Okay, so now after you took the marshmallows out of the microwave, you stir them up. So then they kind of look like that marshmallow jelly puff stuff from the store. <laughs> but you kind of you might not know what that looks like. I don't know what that looks like either. Um, but then you just keep stirring it up. Stirring All right. it up. That was good. Now what are you going to do? And now pretty sure that you slowly put the seven to eight cups of Rice Krispies. Yeah, Rice Krispies in. Okay, so I put like... You could just do it like in little batches. Like put a little bit in, then stir. Put so a tiny bit in. More than that, just go with like half of it in. Good job. And so then half stir it. In, and now we're done. Okay, so we just finished stirring the cereal in, and so either you can just flatten it out and put it in your and just leave it, and then how let would you do sit. that? You, you you would use the octagonal bond mat, and you'd go like press down. You press it down until it's super flat, and then you just let it sit until it's hardened. But that, but right now we would like to put it in our. And our heart tray, deep heart tray, that is back in stock. And so, I'm just going to put that in. I'm just going to put this in there. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we just finished putting all of the Rice Krispie Treats into the deep heart mold. But, we had some extras, so we decided to put them in the daisy mold, which is now just back in stock. So, now we're just going to let them sit. What so, did we do when we put them in there? We already did it, but we... Oh, wait, yeah. I forgot. We pressed it down. Right, because we spooned them in, and then you press it down so it will take the shape of the so you, mold to tray, you right? You press it down, yeah, so it takes the shape of the mold. And so now, we're just going to wait until they're ready so we can eat them. So, our rice crispy treats have been setting for about 20 minutes. And so now, this is how they turned out. So this is the daisy mold. Very surprising, but here it is. Oh, Look yeah. at that. Perfect. It's one of a kind. Yeah. I'm just gonna put that over there. Okay, so now, this is the heart. The large, the deep heart mold. It's made with love. 